Electrical motor vehicle, we have sitting accessible to the driver if the trailer axle weights are over 2,000 kgs especially. What do we have fitted? Electronic brake, or electrically controlled brakes. Yeah. All right, what brand have we got, folks? Who's got Red Arcs? Who's got Heyman Reese? <laughs> Who's running Elect Brake? Who wants Heyman Reese? Yeah. Who's running something different? No. Who doesn't need to run electric brake, controlled brakes? Anybody? Because you've got something like the little fella sitting outside here. All right. Yep. They're still fitted with them. Yeah. Yeah. We can fit electric brakes to any trailer size we want, but legally, we have to run electrically controlled brakes when the gross trailer mass has reached 2,000 kgs. Okay. All right, so we'll stick with the Tow Pro at the moment. It's the most common fitted here. We have three functions on it. Three key functions. Is everyone aware of that? We've got a blue light, a green light, and a red light. Correct? Blue light is for our highway driving, simple terms. Green light is for your off-road driving, pretty green, all the trees and surroundings. And the red means it's under braking. The blue light is proportional. All right. So the proportional simply is as the velocity changes in the motor car, so as the harder we brake, the vehicle slows up, the velocity changes, the control box senses that change. And because we're braking harder, it's going to apply a higher voltage to your trailer brakes, so the trailer brakes firm up with what is occurring. All right. Basically phrased that way. We can select the braking level, can't we? Who's come up with the level you think is correct for your particular trailer? Dave? Have you gone with yours? Oh, has yours got electric brakes on yours? Yes. Yes? How have you gone with yours? My Hayman Reese brake control. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, selecting the right level. Selecting the right level to suit your driving. Great, re great right. reply. Because basically you're going to have at least three different settings possibly. 60k an hour, another one for 80k an hour, and another one for 100k an hour. And the reason we're going to have potentially three different settings, it might be four, five, and six for an example, or three, four, and five as an example, is if this mass simply runs faster, it's going to need more braking power to slow it down and pull it up. So we've got to ask the brake controller to brake firmer or brake harder, which means a higher setting at a higher speed. So you've actually got to trial and error that yourself. So on, the tow, on our tow courses, we actually do a good session on that and we try and get the people to derive and understand what they should be feeling behind them through the braking exercises. So they get an idea that they're setting the controller correctly for the speed they're driving. So if I said to you, when I applied the brakes and I squeezed the pedal to the floor because I'm trying to pull up quickly, it's just like someone running away from me and I've just grabbed their T-shirt and just pulled back on their T-shirt a little bit. So they're going, what's, what's that? So you should be feeling like something's happening behind you at whatever speed you're driving, which means the trailer now is probably braking at the right level it should be to suit its weight and speed but it's braking probably just a little bit higher than what it should be for you to notice something's happening, only marginal. Would there be a reasonable description of we're pretty close to sitting in the driver's seat? You should definitely feel it for your backside. Yeah, yeah. You'll see, the passion you might feel it, the driver will feel it. Okay? Just enough to know the trailer is braking and you can just feel something's occurring. If you're going to sit back in the seat, it's obviously braking too hard. Wheels are locking up, it's probably braking too hard. All these other little things we give. Or what's another key one if we're braking, if the, if the trailer's not braking hard enough? You're going to feel it pushing, and what else might trigger on the motor car? ABS, ABS brakes. ABS. So if you feel that shutter, the trailer's not braking enough for its own weight, so it's not assisting the motor car on the braking. Unfortunately, you do have to trial and error this yourself. I can't give you a setting. Weight, efficiency of wheels, the physical weight on the wheels and the speed where we're going are all determining factors to where we're going to have anything set for your particular trailer on that day. Road conditions, they're all factors. Even tyre pressures, if they're not right, the tyre's going to have a different grip. So all these things will have little, little key factors in determining that. Red, so it goes red from a very, very pale pinkish colour 
up to a very, very dark strawberry apple style red, doesn't it? The harder we brake. So that's going to come on when we touch the brake pedal. It's also going to come on by doing what? What else does a electric control brake system have fitted with it? Manual override. Or we quite often refer to it as an emergency. Okay, we push the button. 